Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today I'm here because it is Booklist Thursday and Booklist Thursday is something I do with Sarah. Over at Sarah's Nightstand we come to you every Thursday with some sort of book. Thoughts, ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. So today our theme is opposite is opposite. It's actually a friend's quote. It's kind of where I got the inspiration. One of my favorite episodes. Um, if you know which episode it is, comment below because I want to know how much of a friends fan you are if you're as much of a friends fan as me but opposite is opposite so the titles of the books that i picked this is how i interpreted it we don't we don't have rules so i don't know what sarah's doing but what i did is i looked for titles that had opposite words within them so for example i have the summer wives and winter garden summer winter tend to be opposite seasons um so summer wives by beatrice williams this really follows us post world war ii when we have a number of women stateside who have been widowed because of the war and kind of goes through what is happening in the United States at that time with this specific group of widowed women. Um, this one follows Miranda um, as she, I believe she is remarried or is remarrying. Um, and they're on Winthrop Island. So. Beatrice Williams is an author I really want to give a try to this year. I feel like this is summery vibes that I need to read in the summer. I don't know. Is that a rule? Maybe in my own head. But Summer Wives is the first one. The opposite would be Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna, which I did read this one. And this one is a contender for my favorite Kristen Hanna. Like, it's fantastic. It is World War II historical fiction. And we really follow the Russian side of the war. Um, we have our main character who there's Meredith and Nina and they are sisters and they're, um, they're on her, on her, their father's deathbed. He like makes this promise, like you need to know your mother's story. And so it goes through them learning their mother's story as she is dealing with war torn Leningrad. So fantastic, but very opposite. Yeah, both historical fiction, which is kind of funny. All right, next one I have, we have light and night. No, we have morning and night. I saw light. So we have The Voy Voyage of the Morning Light by Marina Endicott, and then The Night Woman by Sarah Bladell. Um, this is an arc, so I don't know if we have, here we go. Um, it's set aboard the Morning Light, which is a Nova Scotian merchant ship sailing through the South Pacific in 1912. That was this one that's about. And then this one, I believe, is a detective type mystery. Um, there's a murder in Copenhagen and an abandoned child reveal a perverse criminal underworld that crosses international borders. So thrillery, historical fiction. Excited for both of them. Have you read any of these? I feel like these are not as well known. This came out June 2020 and I didn't read it. Wow. No, I think I got this out of a free little library. So I didn't get that as an art. All right, next opposite I have is light and dark. So we have Under the Lights. This is by Abby Glyn Glines. And then Dark Tide by Elizabeth Haynes. So Under the Lights is the first, no, is this the second? This might be the second. Yes, the second book in the Until Friday Night um, trilogy which I did read the first one. Um, so I won't talk too much about this one, but football down in the South. I don't know. It was just an easy read. Just an easy read. So the first one follows a couple of characters. I think it's Willa and Brady. Willa ends up moving to the town. She's a little quiet, shy, reserved. She refuses to talk about what happened in her past. And the only person she will talk to is this Brady who happens to be a football player. Um, so it was interesting. There was that bit of a mystery as far as what happened to her past and then this budding friendship that they had. So it was really cute. And this is the next one. 
And then we have Dark Tide by Elizabeth Haynes. Um, we have Genevieve who escaped the stressful demands of her sales job to achieve her dream. She wants to leave London behind and begin a new life aboard a houseboat in Kent. Not many people know that she financed her fresh start by working nights as a dancer and kind of kept that on the down low until that past life kind of shows up and she's got to deal with it. So it sounds like it shows up in a not great way, but definitely interested in this. I feel like this one would go pretty quick. I don't know. All right, next one I have um, is Before and After. So we have Before the Crown and then Before and After. So Before the Crown, this is historical fiction set in the 1940s. Windsor Castle really follows Princess Elizabeth. And then Before and After is by Judy Christie and Lisa Wingate. This is the real life story of the orphans who survived the Tennessee Children's Home Society. I don't know why I have not read this yet. The book that Lisa Wingate wrote, Before We Were Yours, is easily up in my top 10. Shocking that that happened and what happened around the Tennessee Home for the Tennessee Children's Home Society and George Tan. It's crazy, but this is actually examines the real life kind of stories of some of the orphans from that. So yeah, <laughs> I need to get to that one. Next one, I'm kind of going out on a limb the last few. Um, we have The Yankee w Widow and the Rebel Wife. So I thought that this was good for opposite and opposite because we have historical fiction that takes place from the Yankees perspective of the Civil War and then The Rebel Wife. This one's by Taylor Polite, Pollitz, that is from the um, Confederate side of the Civil War. So I thought that this was a decent opposite as opposite. These would be interesting to read at the same time because they're both told from like a wife's perspective. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that. And then the last one I have to talk about, we have Dead Mountain and Born a Crime. So born, dead, birth, death, sort of works. So Trevor, Nor Trevor Noah's Born a Crime is his story of growing up in South Africa during the apartheid. It is told so very well. I need to do a reread of this. I just, I love this book so much. And then Dead Mountain, we have, it's the true story of the Dyatlov Pass incident by Donny Eicher. This is, um, happened in the late 1950s. There were nine hikers in the Russian mountains who died mysteriously on an elevation known as Dead Mountain. Eerie aspects of the incident, unexplained injuries, signs the hikers cut open and fled their tent without proper clothing or shoes, Strange final photographs taken by one of them and radiation ratings on some of their clothes have led to decades of speculation over what really happened. Um, this work of literary nonfiction delves into the mystery through unprecedented access to the hikers' own journals and photographs. A rarely seen government records, dozens of interviews, and his own retracing of the hikers' fateful journey in the Russian winter. So really interested in this one. This might be a good one to listen to. It's not super long either like what happened so interesting anyways so that's my pile of books that are opposite titles <laughs> take it what we will I love doing these because I look at books that I don't normally pull off of my shelves and now I want to read all of them like everyone else anyways head over to Sarah's channel see what she has for this week for opposite is opposite otherwise like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you next time bye